after the synchronization jobs are run, uh, you can go and validate and confirm whether the data from your uh, target connectors, that is your backend systems, have been synced up uh, into the GRC repository or not. Okay, so sometimes it's possible that the, if you may get a message saying uh, the sync job has ended successfully, but maybe you know the data is not coming okay into GRC. So what the way you can do that is uh, you can actually look go and take a look at some cup some tables uh, that you know for users or roles uh, and can confirm whether your data is there or not. Okay, so go to SC16. And let us do that now and uh, in it using SA16 and take a look at um, some couple of tables. Okay, so the table GRSC are connector. This is for roles. Okay, so you can go and give a role ID or you can give a connector name. Okay, so our connector S4 HANA connector is S4 CLNT100. Let's give that. And uh, we had created a uh, six or seven roles uh, in S4 HANA with, that begin with X colon. Okay, so let's go and check whether you have it here. No, just remove this. And uh, okay, let's execute this and see if you get any records or not. So you get seven records, okay? All right, seven records. So these are the roles that we created in S4 HANA, okay, and uh, there is a connector, right? Now let's see whether we got the same, we had created similar roles in our ECC system too, okay, so yes, LNT, that's our ECC connector, let's see whether we get the roles so we have those roles here also okay so these are not our roles but our roles are also here basically okay these are our roles okay so the roles are there so you, you know now now know we have the roles uh, let's see what what about the users okay so you can go to grc on this uh, grc users user GRAC user and if you know what those user IDs are so for example we created uh, I created some user IDs in S4 HANA system uh, with uh, test user IDs with S4 okay let's execute that and we get this three user IDs that we created for S4 HANA okay uh, so then you get the user ID uh, information also. Uh, similarly, if you give uh, the ECC connector, you'll get the user ID information from that connector too. But in this case, I forgot what those. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, these are the ones. Okay, so these are the three user IDs that I created in ECC environment. So we, this is the way you can confirm whether the background sync uh, has worked uh, successfully or not. Okay, so when the background jobs are synced successful, the synchronization jobs are successful, you need to see uh, your backend system data in the GRC repository, GRC system. Okay.